Hi guys, a KPI or a key performance indicator. A KPI is a measurable value that demonstrates how effectively a company is achieving its key business objectives. Organizations use KPIs to evaluate their success at reaching certain targets or of a particular activity in which it engages. Often success is simply repeated periodic achievements of some levels of operational goals, for example, zero defects or 10 out of 10 in customer satisfaction, etc. And sometimes the companies are defining their success in terms of making progress towards strategic goals. So today I'm going to introduce you to a KPI add-in in in Office 2013, where you can quickly pull in a KPI dynamic graph and see how the progress is going on. So for an example, I've taken this data set so you can see certain sales representative and they have some defects reported. So we will see which sales representative have more defects and who has good performance. So I'll select that pivot table. Quickly, I will rename it to KPI. And now this is our KPI tab. There I will select some sales representative. You can see over here, I'll insert a slicer to quickly see the sales representatives moving on and then the facts as well i will make it count so that i can see how many the facts who has done in that particular uh, reporting so we have here in the insert menu add-ins and in the add-ins you have the store and from the store you can go and find an app from my apps and i have it already with me the gauge so this is a kpi gauge you will select it and now you will get an option of inserting gauges now you will click on the totals and press OK. Now we have the gauge over here, which is one out of 100, the data, and then we'll click and we see 52 errors, then 82 errors, and then two errors only. This is the best one. And then uh, the next one has also some 89 errors. So we can see who is green, who is yellow, who is red. So this is the performance of each and every salesman that we have over here. So quickly you can move on and you can see how the performance is moving for each and every sales representative. So this was a quick highlight of this uh, particular KPI add-in in our office. So I will quickly show you the settings as well. So if you click over here on the settings small button, you can see, so here you can change the range of the data and uh, you can change the minimum level and the maximum level as well. So you can move it to 1100K, wherever. Then the range for the green, the range for the yellow, so the numbers range you can pull in over here, the range for the red over here as well. So from there, you can also select a theme that you like for your particular chart, and then you can hide the numeric data as well, just the chart will be available. So this is uh, quite handy settings for our gauge, uh, which, which makes it look rather more attractive. So you can see from here, uh, different gauges. And now I will show some of my people who have not uh, been able to follow the add-in part. So click on the add-in in the insert tab, I'll say, and store. From there, you can download this gauge and different other ones. Let me show you. Click on the store. And when you click on the store, it takes a little bit of time. Let me pull it on inside. And then it will bring you some more applications or add-ins rather, which can be very helpful or handy for you in your everyday life. So you can see a lot of other handy um, kind of data analytic inputs or add-ins that can be very handy for your business. So these are some of the tips from the KPI add-ins. So looking forward to talk to you again, guys, and wish you all good luck. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.